It started with me holding my breath. As I looked down at my phone where I'd written this text and I thought, am I actually going to send this? Is this really me? Who wrote this? Can I really do this thing? And then I thought, quick, send it. Boom. Before I could change my mind. And the text, what did it say? It said, hi, I'm Juliet and I want to pull together a team to build open source off the shelf ventilators for our country, Zimbabwe. If there are scientists and teams in Oxford University and King's College in London and in MIT and in Harvard and in Spain and in India and all over the world developing open source uh, ventilators at this time, why can't we be doing this too? And so I sent the text. And I can't lie, of course I was thinking about it. It's not like I forgot it. But within three minutes, it had been posted and reposted and shared and put on social media. It was on Twitter and Facebook and LinkedIn and Instagram and more WhatsApp groups than I could even imagine. And then the responses started rolling in. It was amazing. By the end of the first day, we had 200 medics and engineers and, and offers of workshops to work to build in and doctors wanting to give advice and links to people who could finance and do marketing and logistics. And it was just really overwhelming. So that was my Tuesday. I'm Juliet. And kind of by mistake, not really, but sort of. I have launched a national movement to build off-the-shelf open source ventilators and breathing equipment for my country. And it's now Friday and we have 400 volunteers in our, in our Slack and Slack groups who are all talking together. We have engineers, all of those people, all of this great big team of diverse, of multi-skilled, of incredible people who are can do, we can do, we're going to make a plan, we're going to flipping beat this thing. And we are in there and we are united in this cause to save lives and to help Zimbabwe and maybe other countries breathe. So the movement is called Kufema. Kufema is Shana for the word breathe. So we're all united in getting Zimbabwe to breathe more easily. And already, it's day three, or maybe four, I've lost count. I haven't slept much, you'll have to forgive me. But we have had international responses. We have people who want to build their own open source ventilators. They're looking for our plans, they're looking for our guidance, they're looking for our help to build them in Zambia and all over the world. It's just been incredible. It's really building. So we have 400 volunteers. We've almost reached our, our GoFundMe initial target of £5,000. Now listen, £5,000 isn't enough for what we need, but it's our starting point. And we almost hit it in four days. Imagine what we can do in the next week. We have a medical council, an engineering council. These are high-level people to give us guidance and make sure that the equipment we make is safe, is appropriate, it can deal with the configurations of gas supply and electricity and other things that we have in Zimbabwe. And it will keep people safe. It will keep people breathing. And you see, it's really important to me because I had pneumonia just a couple of months ago. And I'm quite allergic to where I live. That sounds odd, doesn't it? But there are so many beautiful, beautiful flowering trees here. And there's a certain time of the year where I find it hard to breathe and I find it breathless. And the really, really ironic thing is, since I've started this project, every five minutes I have to say, Juliet, Kufema, breathe. Because I'm so excited, I find myself holding my breath. So it started by holding my breath and I hope, keep watching the story, please support us, please check out our website, please send anything you can do to help. We would love support on the GoFundMe, we love crowdsourcing ideas, we love willing hands. This is a movement we are building, it's a little chaotic at first, but we are making progress already. Kufema Zimbabwe. Dot org. That's K-U-F-E-M-A, 
zimbabwe.org and we have a GoFundMe funding account, please have a look for that. And wherever you are, when things are a bit scary or exciting or you just don't know what's happening in these uncertain times, please do what I do. Just say kufema and breathe. Because we're all in this together. We are all in this together and we breathe as one. So everybody, here we go. Deep breath in. What a simple pleasure. Thanks. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.